And welcome back. Over the years, Low Country Live has had many talented people come on the show, but today we have two guys that have joined us with very unusual talent, and by the way, they are tops in their field. Joining me today are Kyle Swicegood, who is number one bid-calling auctioneer in North Carolina, and Justin Oaks, the number one bid-calling auctioneer in Tennessee, but he's also the 20,000 or the 2012 International Bid Call. Uh, Kyle, as well as Justin, and guys, welcome. How did you guys get into the business? Go ahead, Kyle. Well, I tell you, uh, Tom, I've been in real estate uh, since 1991, mm -hmm. and uh, I decided to take uh, my real estate career to a, another level, mm -hmm. and uh, auctioneering was the, the perfect thing uh, to do, and, and that's how I got into the business. Justin? I started out first generation auctioneer, uh, went to Missouri Auction School. I had started an announcing business and moved to Middle Tennessee, and mm -hmm. a person in the real estate field came to me about a year later. and asked me to come and be an apprentice for them and everything is just kind of unraveled from there. Now, now I find it interesting that people get into the auctioneer business because sometimes they've been in other fields but they get into it and I've met a number of people I, I'm, I'm, I'm a member as well of the as the NAA and it's uh, National Auctioneers Association and it's probably one of the nicest and friendliest group of people that I've ever met what do you guys you you have such a, a wonderful uh, a combining energy with the National Auctioneers Association. Tell us about it. Yeah, that. it's a brotherhood and uh, one of the, the, the best things I ever did was getting involved with the NAA. Not only do they provide that brotherhood and that network, mm -hmm. but it's also a phenomenal educational opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you two actually met at one of the courses that takes place over a period of years, the CAI. Now tell us what the CAI is all the about. CAI is a Certified Auctioneers Institute. It's mm -hmm. the master's level training program for auctioneers with a different education and respect to law, marketing, and technology and it's a one-week class for a period of over three years and then you earn that designation. This takes place in Indiana, is that correct? Bloomington, Indiana okay. each year is where the class is held. So the people that want to attend that, they've got to come in from all over the country, if not all over the world, to get that credential. We do have people from all over the world. We have a strong South African wow. designation within the NAA. Uh, they have to fill out their application. They have to be accepted into the program as well, so it's not anybody can just join. Now both of you of course are state mm -hmm. number one North Carolina and also Tennessee state number one bid calling uh, competition winners. Mm -hmm. What was it like on that level? Well I tell you that is uh, where the rubber meets the road in the bid calling mm -hmm. uh, side of things. Uh, you compete with some of the top bid callers in your state. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to, it's not just bid calling, there's also an interview process which is pretty much mirrored at what Justin did uh, at the IAC which is the International Auction uh, Championship. Why don't you mm -hmm. tell them about that? The, the International Auctioneer Championship is held each year and people from all over the world come to one location uh, to compete for that title and this then serve as the best. all over the world yeah. now that you're competing with. Yeah, and you exactly. were number one this year, 2012. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. what was it like? The, I mean, such a stressful level in the state, on the state level, but in the international level, man. It's uh, very intense because not only are you competing against the best auctioneers, mm -hmm. you have the best auctioneers in the world in the crowd evaluating your skills. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge interview process, preliminaries, interview, final round competition, and then they announce yeah. the winner. Now you guys spent a couple of days up in Myrtle Beach. You came down today to see the city and we appreciate you coming down, but we also want to do a little bid calling. So Kyle, mm -hmm. take it away. All right. Are you ready? Hit it, Jim. All right. Would you bid seventy-five thousand? Seventy-five thousand dollar bid. Would you bid one hundred thousand dollars? Hit one twenty-five. Get about one fifty here. One fifty here. Would you bid one seventy-five? Two hundred thousand. Take her there, buddy. I'm gonna buy it up in two. It up in twenty-five. Get up in two hundred. Get up in twenty-five thousand. I'm gonna buy it up in fifty. Get up in seventy-five. Three. I'm gonna buy it up in three. Get up in three. Get up in three. Get up in three. Get up in three hundred thousand dollar now. I'm gonna buy it up in three. Get up in sold it your way. Two hundred and seventy-five thousand. Oh, man, I got goosebumps all over. <laughs> me. I, I love it. Guys, appreciate you coming down. Enjoy the holy city. Remember, we got one of the most beautiful bridges anywhere in the world right here. Also, we got a lot of stuff going on in the Yorktown as well today. Thanks. And we're going to have dinner, I think, a little bit later on Looking this forward evening to it. as well. Enjoy it. Now, over to Miss Tessa. All right, Tom, at 275, you bought it. You like that, right? <laughs> Nestled down.